All right, in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about goal setting. How to set the right goals for yourself so that you can ensure that you know what it is you're going after. I get asked this question a lot on social media from people reaching out to me saying, hey Chris, I'm having a tough time getting focused or getting clear on my goals. Can you help me? And so I'm gonna give you some simple things that was taught to me by one of my mentors and that drastically changed everything for me. So the fact that I actually wrote a book about it, actually more of a journal, that will help you keep accountable and stay on track to the goals that you set. But that's a side note. What I'm gonna share with you right now is the steps to doing and setting the right goal. Step number one, what you wanna do is take a sheet of paper and write down all the things that you wanna accomplish in life. It might be 100 things, it might be 20 things, just everything that you can possibly think of, no matter how big or crazy it may seem, to how small it may seem. Just put everything on paper. Second thing you're gonna do now is you're gonna pick one thing on that sheet that you believe you can accomplish in the next 30, 60, or 90 days. And it's something that's gotta get you really excited and fired up about. Like you have to have a burning desire for its achievement. Something that if you achieve it, like it'll make everything in life seem just magical. Something like that. Now the item doesn't have to be like a personal thing or a physical thing. It could really just be anything that you're working towards. And so, again, people ask me that all the time. Should it be something like a materialistic thing I'm focusing on? Should it be money? Should it be impact? That's irrelevant. You just need something that you can really get excited about and focus in on. All right, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna write out your goal in a clear, concise statement. So on a sheet of paper, I would write down what it is that I'm striving to achieve. Now here's the most important thing when it comes to writing out your goals. When you write your goals, they must be stated in the present tense. You see, the way that our mind works is like this. It cannot tell if it's happening right now, if it happened in the past, or it's happening in the future. And so let me explain that in an example. There was a study done on runners, actually like sprinters, where they actually hooked up electrodes to their entire physiology and body, and they measured all the readings from heart rate to amount of sweat that was lost, how you know their body changed during the 100 meter sprint. Then what they did was they made the athletes sit down in a chair, close their eyes, kept all the electrodes and sensors hooked up to them, and what they did was they had them visualize themselves actually running the race. And what they found was their body had the same response as if they were actually running it, but they were sitting down. And so what I want you to understand is our mind is so powerful that it cannot sometimes tell real from fantasy. But the more real you make it in your mind, the faster that it will show up for you. And so when you write it down on your goal statement or whatever it is on a sheet of paper or a little card, you're gonna carry it around with you all the time and constantly focus on it. It has to be stated in the present tense. And you have to actually see yourself there, like closing your eyes and seeing yourself at the successful completion of that goal. And so here's how I would write it out. I am so happy and grateful now that, and then from there you write out your statement. So I am so happy and grateful now that I have earned $1 million in my business impacting millions of people around the world, if that was your goal. Or I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm earning an extra $1,000 a month in my business and I'm super excited about it. So something that is actually occurring in the future but stated in the present, that's very important when it comes to setting your goal. And the final thing you wanna do is you wanna have that goal in front of you as often as possible. So you wanna constantly be reading it, constantly focusing on it, constantly visualizing it. The more you do of that, the more likely your brain is really gonna to start to believe it. Because when you first do the activity, you might not believe it, but the more you keep doing it over and over and over again, it's gonna change your psychology around that idea and eventually you're really gonna to start to believe it. But I'm gonna let you on the most important part of this whole process, action. Action, action, action. A goal written down on a sheet of paper is just a wish. For it to show up in your life, you're gonna have to put in the work. You're gonna have to put in massive action. You're gonna have to do something every single day that's gonna move you towards that goal. And so let's just say your goal was to become the greatest photographer in the world. You could write that, that down on a sheet of paper, but if you never pull out the camera and you never take the photos and you never hustle and you never expose your work to people, it's not gonna happen. No one in the history of time has sat there and meditated on a goal and it just shown up. You have to do something. And so a lot of us get caught up in personal development. You know, we read the books, we visualize what we want, we meditate on our ideas, but yet when we look in the outside world, nothing seems to change, right? You're not gonna change unless you change. 
which means do something completely different. If you want a different result, you want a different goal, the actions you took to get where you are today might not be the ones that are gonna get you to where you wanna be tomorrow. And so it's very important that once you have this statement down, you take all out massive action towards your goals. Mm -hmm.